Um, the organizers asked me to talk a little bit about Zara, so that's where I work, uh, and give you a bit of a demo. Uh, we build a database that... You're attacking me with the lights. Um, we build a we build a data ah okay I see he unplugged it so we build a database uh, because we believe databases are too hard uh, currently for anyone wanting to build a product and if you what I've been telling people um, is that we're a developer experience company more so focused on making databases friendly uh, easy trivial to to provision and to scale and to migrate safely. Uh, without any downtime, without any migration windows. So I'm happy to show you that today. And just, it, I won't be long. This is not like a 45 minute session, five, 10 minutes maybe. Before I get into it, uh, this ring is still missing. So if somebody lost this, uh, come see me, okay? Otherwise, I'm keeping it and I'll go to a pawn shop and like, anyway. Um, so, Zara, what is the problem we're solving? This is a back end conference. So I'm happy to talk a little bit about databases here uh, with diagrams, okay? So usually you would have some type of app. Um, maybe a front-end app that talks to some type of API layer. Um, from your API layer, you would query, at some point, you're going to hit a database, a back-end store, a data store. Um, this is fairly common. Um, API, uh, sorry, app, so web front-end talks to API, talks to databases. Um, just getting here, we feel like, isn't as easy as we want it to be. Uh, to How many of you have tried to provision a database on like AWS? Um, wow, nobody in a back-end conference. Um, like three people. Provision a database anywhere, serverless. Okay, yeah, there's more hands. So this takes time, usually. It takes a few minutes to spin up a, a database and, 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 and bootstrap it, so to speak. Um, on Zada, this is instant. I'll show you a demo in just a minute. But at some point, when, if your thing is successful and grows, you'll want to scale you know, vertically. You'll add, like, let's add some memory, let's add some disk space, and so on. You, you need to. Um, eventually, this gets too expensive, and you have the conversation, well, maybe we should scale horizontally, add multiple database replicas. This is complex to begin with. Um, as your complexity grows, you're going to recognize, oh, our app's a bit slow because we're still reading from disk. What is faster than disk? Memory. So, so th I've, I've had this conversation at least 121 times. Okay? Um, is it time for Redis? Uh, so you'll usually add some type of in-memory KV store to read from memory, which is faster. And so your app will then read from that. And if it's a cache miss, it'll go to the database the first time, populate Redis, it's all good, it's fast. Um, as your data volume increases, your users are going to need a way to find stuff. GitHub.com, Instagram, TikTok, go to any website with a, a reasonable amount of data volume, what do you have? Search. Uh, search is important, so you'll need to then replicate your data into a search engine. Somehow, you'd probably use some type of queue, like Kafka or something. Um, and so your database will you know, have to like, logically replicate, or however replicate, maybe you do statement-based, I don't know, it's your system. Um, and so you'll need to, look how complex this is. Um, and, and of course, your search engine is probably also going to be distributed. It's going to be something like Elasticsearch. And your ca so this is non-trivial. Um, to go from I, I want to start to I want to scale to I want to... And now we haven't even talked about safely migrating. What if I want to like, change the schema? How can I do that? How can I run my migration? How can I test my migration? So all of these problems, we believe if you're building like, any app, these are maybe not your problems to deal with. And maybe you're small and you can't hire a dedicated DBA team or whatever. Zada is your DBA team, okay? So um, what we do is we basically replace all of this, literally everything except your API, with um, our approach. So the dashed lines are now serverless solved by Zada. And this is what I want to show you here. So this is our blog, zada.io slash blog. Um, there's posts here by some really handsome people. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm just joking, I'm just... <laughs> um, and so why, why am I showing you this blog? Well, you know, we, we highlight things we do. Uh, so we just had this offsite. Hey, okay. <laughs> this amazing food and so on. It was just a beautiful, this is our team. Um, but why I'm showing you this blog is because this blog runs on Zara. We use our own database to build our own stuff. And I want to show you that journey on Zara. So if we switch tabs here, this is, um, this is what Zara looks like. This is the, the org. So on the left-hand side, we have similar to how in GitHub you can have organizations and repos. In Zara, you have workspaces and databases. You can have any number of databases in your workspace. We have quite a few. Um, and the blog powers the blog. So if, if I click on this blog thing, what we'll see is the inside of the blog database. Uh, 
It's not always this slow. This is conference Wi-Fi. I don't really need to defend it, but whatever. Um, and if, if I go to posts here, these are our blog posts that you see here. Okay? But you'll notice the order isn't the same. This, is, this starts with Jamstack. That starts with JSCon Budapest. So how do we sort? Well, we do this. We sort by date in descending order. And this is, by the way, it looks like a spreadsheet. It's actually a full-on database. It can scale. You can migrate it. It's also a branchable database. Like, I can git branch my thing, change my schema, and merge it without downtime. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so sorted results. Looks good. I can click this button here to get the code snippet in a language I choose, JavaScript fetch. And I can run it anywhere I run JavaScript, including the browser dev tools. So if I run this here, uh, I actually get back the records sorted and filtered exactly as I want. And this is how we build the blog front end. Uh, it's from query, from filtering to a query, it's that straightforward. Um, as well as provisioning databases is, is quite fast. I wanted to show you this just briefly. If I add a database called um, worker, 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 so lowercase, um, and I hit enter, that's instant. It's created, it's provisioned, I can query it. I can build tables, I can build a schema, I'm done. Um, so that's the graphical way, but we know, as I said in the beginning, developer experience is the name of the game. And some people maybe want to write code all the time. They don't want to work with this spreadsheet. And so everything that I did with the web UI, you can do with code. So this is a, an SDK playground where I can literally use the Zada client to write code. So I can do Zada dot, and it's fully type safe, db dot. And these in my editor are the same as my tables here. They're generated types on the fly. So I can do something like dot posts, dot get all, right? And I'll get all the posts. I can even filter here just before getting all and um, do a join across another table to authors. So I'll find posts where the author's name is me. And it's type safe. So if I mess up the column, it's like, wait, you, you, you don't, you, this is not going to work. So it's this, we want it to be this simple to query. Uh, but some people maybe don't, this is also probably too much. And, and maybe it's better to just stay in your project and not even leave your editor while working with your database at scale. Uh, so if you look at this little thing up here in Visual Studio Code, yeah, you can, everything I showed you, you can do like straight from Visual Studio Code. You can provision a database. You can scale a database. You can migrate it straight from here. So this is our Zada team. That's our blog database. Our database is branchable, so you can actually look at different branches here and, and mess with the schema and the dev branch if you want to. I can just like delete this table in the dev branch because I, I want to do it. Press enter to confirm, what? Type the name to confirm. Boom, table's going, going, gone. Um, dev branch, who cares? Um, on the main branch, I can explore, whatever, it's a database. I, I know, like you're like anxious. We trust the system. And just, so authors, um, I can view my data here as well, straight in VS Code. Um, I can insert it. So that's a brief look. I, what, what I wanted to show you was Zada is predominantly about developer experience. From, from creating a database, to branching a database, to scaling a database, a database becomes an afterthought comfortably so that if you're building a music streaming service, a dating app, whatever, it's a solved problem. Think data and not databases. Does that make sense? Um, lastly, when you do your changes in a branch, you merge your branch to main. Uh, usually, you've heard of like, migration window or scheduled maintenance. Yeah, so historically, when you do a large scale database migration, you have to tell users, hey, please, no one write anything for like three hours. Uh, it's out of this instant. You merge it, nobody even notices, because we hide behind a REST API. So we receive the rights, and we can tell if a migration is in progress, and we coordinate the systems accordingly. So your users are like, OK, cool, never any downtime. Wow. Um, that's the demo. That's what I get to go to work and do every day. And then I get to speak about it at conferences. And uh, if you're interested, we, we are you really? Okay. Um, we're, uh, we're private beta, so it's not yet public. We're going public in September-ish. Um, but if you'd love access, I'd love to talk to you more and show you around. Also, uh, we're hiring. So with that, hey, thanks so much.